today we're going to be updating you guys on my February reading and writing goals and plans. So if you follow along with all the stuff I do, you know that I'm really into mysteries. And last month I was having a problem getting through um, the book Truly Devious because it was for the third time. I was going to read Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, and then I was going to read uh, The Vanishing Stare, which is the second book in the Truly Devious series by the same author. I was going to read that for a second time. And then on January 21st, The Hand on the Wall, the final book in the Truly Devious series came out, and I was going to read that last. Well, I was talking about, you know, I was having a problem getting through Truly Devious, right? Because I have read it uh, two times already, and it wasn't very long ago that I had done that. So, um, instead of reading those two books over again for the final book read, I went ahead and I started the final book. I can always go back and read that series over again, and I probably will because it's very good. So, I started... Uh, the hand on the wall and it is excellent. I have some things figured out I think so far in the book. Uh, I'll have to read along to find out. It is uh, very suspenseful and it does keep you reading and I do highly recommend this series for anyone who likes mystery novels. Um, like my favorite novels, my favorite novelist is Agatha Christie and um, Stevie or uh, Maureen Johnson uh, wrote the Truly Devious series so well that I would uh, I would say it's kind of like up there with an Agatha Christie novel. Like some things you can figure out along the way, and then some things stay a mystery until they are revealed. Um, kind of like an Agatha Christie novel. I love it. So um, for my writing progress, last month I told you I wanted to write 15 chapters in my book in January, uh, 15 chapters in February, and 15 chapters in March, but I did not make my goal. Well, I am trying to just like trek through right now. I'm on chapter 5, and um, <clears throat> okay, so here's the thing. Like, uh, I have written several books. Uh, before this one, I even have an idea that I really want to work on um, that came to me after I started writing uh, the novel I'm writing now, which is a mystery, a murder mystery. And um, <clears throat> really, the thing is that I have a problem. I write stuff like halfway through about I would say about halfway through, and then I just get stuck, right? So, I watched this video yesterday, and it was a video by Ellen Brock, and uh, she's an editor, and I like to watch a lot of her videos. It's um, a pretty good series of videos uh, helping writers out and uh, giving pointers. Okay, so... um. I have right here, like, uh, my favorite book ideas, and there's, like, four of them. So, I wrote, on this list, the first one, I wrote about 60,000 words. I think the second one, 20,000. The third one, like, 15,000. And then this one, I have, uh, I'm working on the fifth chapter, and then I have another great idea I want to work on. Okay? So... The Ellen Brock video I watched yesterday was like types of writers. So she was explaining, you know, there are plotters and there are pantsers and you can be along that spectrum. So if you outline and then the inspiration is gone, you may be a pantser. If you plot and then always deviate from the plan, you may be a pantser. And then if you are pantsing and then get stuck or start a bunch of stories without finishing, you may be a plotter. So I lightly plot. Um, I do make outlines. On some of the books I've written in the past, I tried to be a pantser. So I'm thinking um, from watching that video that I may be a plotter and I need, may need to spend more time plotting out my stories before I even get started on them. I, I do uh, 
more plotting lately uh, than I have in the past, and I think it's been helping. So um, that part of her video really helped me out. And then uh, she was explaining between the methodological and the intuitive, and that the main district difference between these two different types of writers, and I think you can probably belong a, like along the spectrum here too, is that uh, intuitives solve problems with their gut and method writers solve problems using their knowledge and theory. And she said that if you are writing stories that are very meandering and boring, you may be methodological. And if you're using structure to write, but since a different way to solve a problem, you may be intuitive. Now, I'm not sure, like, I think uh, I understood the difference between pantser and plotter a lot more than I did the methodological and intuitive. Um, but I think that uh, that got me on a, a wavelength of thinking about am I methodological, am I uh, intuitive, and I think that like, since I never went to creative writing classes except for, like, a poetry class in college, which I did very well, and things like that, um, I may not have uh, very many methods for writing. Like, you know, like, uh, doing, like, every single structure of the story, such as, like, making sure I have all of the... Uh, setting laid out before me and stuff like that so I think that I need to look into that more and find out uh, where I'm at for that and then um, I also what I am thinking is I need to go through and organize my ideas and just like since it seems like from her video a lot of it is that I I'm lacking the structure I need to be successful. Um, I think that I need to just like go through and start organizing and structuring things so that I have a way to uh, get things done uh, more efficiently, okay? So um, yeah, I think I have a good writing plan for February. I'm just gonna keep tracking forward. I'm gonna try to have 15 chapters of the current book I'm writing done by the end of February, and then I'll see where I go from there. Um, I also plan to do a lot of organizing for my writing stuff during the month of February. So I wanted to get this video out first thing this February so that you guys know what my plans are. For reading, I really don't have a plan after reading the final book in the Truly Devious trilogy. I am really into that book right now, and I don't even want to think about uh, going forward. But I'm sure I will read more books when I'm done with that one. So at the end of February, I will let you guys know all about it. Well, I hope you guys had a great day just listening to me ramble about my reading and writing. I am going to get this video up today, so tell me in the comments what do you think about the Iowa caucuses last night? Wasn't that crazy? Yes, so um, if you want to talk about that in the comments or tell me like what books you're reading in February that you're really excited about to maybe give me some ideas, that would be awesome. Uh, let's hear from you guys, and if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And to follow me along on my journey, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are notified when all my future videos come out. I do hunt a killer unboxings and investigations, so an investigation is coming up soon. And um, I do all things mystery. So if you love mysteries, give me a follow, okay? And we'll talk again soon. All right, bye-bye.